What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best gun bunch plays in over the course of the last two years. This play is absolutely incredible. It's lethal against the best defenses in the game, and so I'm excited to bring this to you. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We do videos every single day that can help you become a better player. So if you're looking to get better, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, before I go any further, I do want to let you know that we actually have a complete gun bunch offensive guide. If you want to get my Come Bunch Offensive Guide, there's a link in the description of this video. It doesn't just cover, uh, we started in the Seattle playbook, but we've actually been moving around a little bit. And so this covers all of my updates. So if I moved, um, you know, I, if I run some Washington stuff, I've got that in there. If I run some, um, you know, some Carolina Bunch, then I got that in there. So you get all of the Gun Bunch. You don't just get one version of it you get all of it so um, that link is down in the description it's the exact offense that i use in weekend league and in tournaments i think it's the best offense in the game right now and also if there is ever any patches that will update some of these plays or they may patch the gun bunch and take away different concepts we will update that for you in the guide as well so it's a great great get in my opinion great guide this year right off the rip um, you're going to get the best offense of the game. So you can get that for just 15 bucks. There's a link in the description below that you can get that. Um, you just click that link. It'll take you to my website, and you'll be able to get that offense. That being said, let's dive into the play. We're going to be breaking down Bench Pivot. And Bench Pivot is, like I said, it's one of the best plays in Gun Bunch for the last two years. And what we're going to do with this, first and foremost, um, is first show you how to beat Cover 3. And then we're going to kind of start from there and go from there. So uh, the reason why this play is so good is because this tight end route does a great job of getting separation um, against man and also against cover three or any type of zone drop defense. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the R1 receiver on a fade. And then what I like to do with the running back is honestly up to you. You can put him on an out route. I think that's the best option. Um, but you can do all kinds of things with him if you want to. I like an out route. That being said, all we're going to do is we're just going to snap the ball. We're not going to do any motion of anything if you wanted to you could motion brown to the numbers and snap the ball you'll see that against cover three what this will have what will happen is if the safety is obviously in the middle of the field so he can make that play i can make that aggressive catch but let's say for example and i've seen a lot of people running this as of late they've actually been running their cover three flips so they're doing something essentially like this to get another uh gun bunch guy over there so they're doing a lot of this right here so if you get something like this, this is a great concept for that. So again, all we're going to do is just fade because what you're going to see is this outside third will basically kind of freak out a little bit um, with the motion out route. So the motion out route will kind of manipulate him, as you can see. And then we can just basically pass lead that to the right and beat cover three, four, one play score. So that's just something I want you to know in your back pocket. And one of the reasons I'm saying that is because I've seen a lot of competitive players actually going to um you know kind of an interesting little defense basically so that they can get this middle third from this guy to give them an additional underneath coverage over here so that's just something to kind of be aware of and that's a way to kind of counter that that being said let's dive into the rest of the coverages and like i said generally i'm not going to motion him because it does actually make the cover three beater worse on the right let me just show you so if i motion him out here you'll see the corner will actually sit on the tight end he won't stop him but he will sit there a little bit closer um so if that's an acrobat i don't really like that i don't want to i don't want to mess with that so an easy way to get around that this year um is to just actually not motion him whatsoever so you know or to put him on a flat route or something but I like this route that he's on because it does a good job typically against man. It also does a really good job if they're not playing hard flats. But now let's take a look at this. You're going to see here so much more open and so much more space to be able to throw that tight end route. That tight end route is absolute money against zone coverage this year. Another defense that I've been seeing a lot of people like to shift to in the gun bunch is this version of Tampa 2 where they basically put this guy in the middle third and then they're going to have two vertical hooks across the board. And then they might go ahead and, you know, do like a three wreck over the middle, um, maybe their user or whatever. And this is kind of something that I've been seeing a lot of as of late. Um, and so what you're going to see here is this play is going to do a really good job of this because you're going to see that that circle receiver is going to kind of hold that cloud flat and I can easily throw the ball over the top to the tight end. Now, I will say that the cloud flat, if they do play a stock cloud flat out there on um, like on the corner, the one thing I will tell you, and the reason why I think this defense is actually gaining some popularity, um, is because it does those cloud flats that you're just kind of stock. They actually do a decent job since the latest patch. 
of stopping this out route. You'll see here I can still throw this, but I can't turn it upfield and get, you know, 10 yards. I can only get four to five. So that being said, it is open, but it's not as open as you might think. Now I want to move to cover four show two. Now against cover four show two, um, this is an example of a time where I think it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and sh put the R1 on the fade and motion out circle. Reason why is because match defense, the way match defense works, whenever you motion that circle receiver out from the gun bunch, it completely messes with match defense. So I'm just gonna motion him out to the numbers, kind of snap just before he sets or just let him set. And what you're gonna notice here is this tight end is gonna, gonna get a lot more open than he would. And I'll show you what I'll, I'll show you. So you see there he gets open. Obviously Brady gave me a terrible pass, but he does get open. Um, so now what I want to show you is if I don't motion him. So if I don't motion the circle receiver, take a look at how this defends. You're going to see here that the tight end is still open, but you see that corner can undercut it. Okay. So that's something that I don't like, and that's something that I can easily solve. So, you know, as far as the cover three thing, it does still beat cover three. If you motion him out, it just... It just makes the throw a little bit less likely, um, in my opinion, but it does give you potential to bomb cover three if they make a mistake. Um, there's a lot of benefits to this motion out route as well. Um, I think you see here that, you know, it's a really nice little read. One of the other things I want to hit on real quick is what you just saw right there. So this is something that's really underrated um, about Gun Bunch. People don't understand that Gun Bunch is so good because of several different reasons. One of those is that we can create essentially a Y trips formation by this motion out. So when we motion this guy outside, what we can do is if they're playing hard flats and they're not playing it from their slot corner, you'll see here, you can actually just pass this up because it's a speed out. You can easily just get that ball out there quick. So if the corner, and this is gonna force their corner to have to do things, it's gonna force them to have to adjust to this play, which is gonna make them way less effective. So if their inside guy is the guy that's going on the deep zone of the Mabel, you're going to see that they're going to be a lot less effective against corner routes. The other thing is, if they're playing a hard fight, it doesn't matter. I can still throw this out there. So I just wanted to kind of put that in the back of your mind of like, if they're you're forcing them to have to make an adjustment, they might have to run cover four. They might have to man him up. There's a lot of things that they're going to have to do um, to be able to stop this. Now, let me show you this against man to man. Um, take a look at this out route real quick against man. You'll see here that it's not it's it's open, but it's not super nice. I wouldn't throw it against man um, At least like that Let me show you if it's pressed up. So if we don't motion I just want to show you so you see here if it's not motioned you see he still gets kind of bagged in, in man coverage the tight end um, really what is really important is route running and, and ability so what I like to do and what a lot of people like to do in Madden is they'll put matchup nightmare or they'll put short in elite on the tight end. And that will help the tight end get pretty good separation against man. As you see right here, David was, is basically taking him away. But please understand that one of the more common things is going to be this adjustment where they have, they're going to use her in the middle of the field. The right side outside linebacker is going to be guarding him. And a lot of people are not putting that guy as a safety this year. And if you need to, you can always cut it off. But as you see, I mean, man coverage in regs, man coverage can take that away. In mutt, because you can put short in elite on him and you can get George Kittle or you can get Kyle Pitts, this is going to be an easy dot. Now, if you hit it right on the cut, they'll never cut, they'll never cover it anyway. So that's another thing that I want to just kind of hit on. The other thing against man coverage is you have all of this grass on the left side. So you're running back out route kills man every single time it's such a good route this year against man coverage it's really one of the better routes in the game probably probably top five route in the game this year the other thing that you can do against man coverage is your speed in route what i love about these in routes this year they cook man coverage just pass lead inside easy read and you're going to be able to beat man so that is the play bench pivot against every coverage uh, or every major coverage you're going to see I think this is one of the best plays in the entire game. One thing I did want to hit on just real quickly is Drini's defense. Drini came out in the Madden um, channel or the, the kickoff tournament with an interesting style of cover four. Basically, it was baseline and pressed. Um, and what you're going to see here is if we motion Brown to the outside against this and he's in that cover four, take a look at this. This is really interesting. So that corner route to the tight end is the only corner route that I'm aware of that will actually be able to consistently beat that defense because the cover four dropped the way Drini was running it. 
was putting that quarter zone in a great position to guard the play Z spot. The beauty of bench pivot is it's a delayed corner route, meaning that when you motion this guy out, kind of get this feel for the th the deal, um, you're going to see here that outside quarter zone really, I mean, right there, kind of played it, but I could have probably fit that in. I just had a bad pass lead. Okay. But the quarter zones, um, the quarter zones, I think are the way to go this year defensively using them as much as possible. But that being said, um, you know, if they run a lot of a quarters coverage, the bunch will kill it. There's a lot of things we can do from the Seattle bunch to kill it. But also please notice just pass lead this to the right and you see that's wide open. So that being said, just wanted to kind of let you know about cover for drop. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn my full gun bunch offensive scheme, there's a link in the description below. You can get that full offensive breakdown for just 15 bucks. It's over five hours of video content with written setups. It's basically one of the best offenses ever, and I would encourage you to check it out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, if you want to get the bunch guide, all you have to do is head down to the description below, and there's a link right in there that you can click. It'll take you right to my website, and you'll be able to pick that up.